www.factorials.com and today we're going to be looking at factorials. And hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be looking at factorials. And a factorial looks like this. You'll see the exclamation point at the end of the number. And what this means is 5 factorial looks like 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you just multiply this number all the way down the line. So 5 times 4, 20, times 3 is 60, times 2 is 120. So 5 factorial equals 120. So if we just did 4 factorial, then it would be a little simpler. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. So 4 factorial is 24. Now you may see an addition or multiplication problem in here. Let's take a look at 5 factorial minus 3 factorial. Now in this case, first we're going to have to figure out what 5 factorial is. And since we just looked at it, it's 120. And 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. So 5 factorial minus 6 equals 114. So 5 factorial minus 3 factorial is 114. Now a lot of times when dealing with factorials, you'll see division. And you might see a problem like this. 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial. And what you can do is, is you can cancel out, just like you would any multiplication or division problem. So this is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is 6 times all the way down to 1. And what you can do is you can cancel out 6 all the way to 1 and 6 all the way to 1. Since they're being multiplied, we can just cancel out the 6s, the 5s, all the way down to 1. And what we're left with is 8 times 7. So 8 times 7 is 56. So 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial is 56. And we'll do one last problem. that you may see. And let's take a look at 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 3 factorial. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write it out. So we have 10 times 9 times 8 times all the way down to 1. And then at the bottom we have 8 times 7 all the way down to 1 and that is multiplied by 3 times 2 times 1. So we already know what this is, but we can cancel out some here. Since it's all being multiplied, we can cancel out 10 factorial has 8 factorial already in it, times 9 times 10. So we can cancel out the 8 factorial and the 8 factorial, and what we're left with is 10 times 9 on top and 3 times 2 on the bottom. And we can do a little simplification here. Cancel out the 3 and the 9, and we get a 3 on top. And the 10 and the 2, and we get a 5 on top. I'm just simplifying this equation right here. And so now all we're left with is 5 times 3. So 10 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 3 factorial is 15. And it's that simple. And this is how you use factorials to add, divide, multiply, out, you can just cancel out and then you can simplify. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out the website, themathworld.com. Thanks for watching.